going to talk about intro to drone racing, how to get started, and what type of equipment you need. So this is what I used to get started. This is a ready to fly setup. Of course, you can always build your own racing drones and you'll always see the pros doing that. But if you just wanna get started, there's some products that you can buy so you can fly all on your own in your own living room. So there's three things that you need. The first thing you need is an RC transmitter. I'm using this Spectrum transmitter. I bought this on Horizon Hobby. It was $89. Then you'll also want, of course, your drone. Uh, this is a Blade Nano QX drone. I love this because it's so light. You don't need to register it. Also, it can drop or crash into things. No big deal. This drone is $159. And then, of course, the really cool part that makes drone racing drone racing is you'll have the goggles. So I'm using Fat Shark's goggles. This gives you that first person view. So this setup will be $199. So all three of these together will cost $448. So once you add tax and shipping, you're looking at just under $500 to get everything you need to get started drone racing. So let's go do some racing ourselves. So we'll start with the transmitter. This is really easy to configure the way that you like it. So you can see we've got our arm and our disarm sticks. We've also got three different flight modes that we can choose from up here. You'll also see our bind button. So this transmitter binds really easily with any type of blade product. You pretty much just turn it on and hold this down simultaneously and you'll hear it give a little ring and that means that it is connected to your blade if we have our blade on right now. And other than that, it operates just like any RC transmitter that you would be used to flying with. Then we have our drone itself. This battery just charges via USB, so it's just charging into my laptop. We'll plug it in here so it's all ready to go. We've also got our camera. You can control the tilt. So some professional flyers are really serious about the tilt of their drones, so this is really useful. Then we've also got our propellers. These can change out if you've gotten them dinged up. As you can see, we've flown into a couple walls in our life. That's okay, they're really easy to switch out the propellers. And of course, we've got these little prop guards also to protect our walls or our friends also in case we run into them, although we do not recommend you do that at home. And we've got our fat shark goggles, so you'll see we've got the antenna here, and then we can also control the channel, so if there's multiple drones flying around at once, then we can race each other, or if you don't want to race yourself, you could even buy a pair of these fat sharks and watch other racers in action by linking into their channel, and we'll give these a whirl. Flying FPV is a totally surreal experience. Someone once described it to me saying that when they put on the FPV goggles, they feel like they're actually putting on a Superman's cape and you really are flying around the room sort of like Superman. Someone else told me that she feels like a monk when she's flying FPV because it's such an out-of-body experience. Woo, that was a pretty good flight. I'm exhausted. Thanks so much for flying with me. If you get into racing, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, happy flying, and happy racing.